this morning I'm gonna take you on a little ride find out a little bit about some history here in New Mexico I knew about it but I didn't know where it happened All right. It's uh, getting towards, uh, let's see, today's Monday, the Monday before Thanksgiving. And we've been having really warm temperatures down here. Uh, last, yesterday, I went down to El Paso to do some Christmas shopping. And uh, it was 70, 76 degrees down there. So I didn't think that was too bad. So uh, today it's supposed to be in the low 70s. Uh, which isn't too bad for late November. So we're going to ride up this road right here towards your vantage point to look over a valley. So I can show you where Pat Garrett was shot and killed. Uh, but on the way, I want to talk to you about uh, a lot of comments are coming in on uh, people looking at my content. They really like the rides. Uh, a lot of people are interested in this charge and uh, in the Terra Trek charge, but they want to know more information about it. A lot of questions about battery life and about uh, now I'm getting questions about the different modes of uh, uh, the e assist. So I want to cover that real quick. So I'm going to tell you how this trike works. Over under this uh, thumb is where I select e assist. And the e-assist is one through five. One is the least amount of assist, and one is the most amount of assist, and everything in between is a fraction increase of the one before it. So one's a little less than two, two's a little less than three, so forth. Um, So I usually ride in zero or one. When I'm filming, I'm in one because I, I, I'm concentrating on filming. So I need to uh, I don't know, I need a little more help. But normally when I'm just riding by myself, no filming, I ride in zero and I just use the throttle, which is right here. See me turning it? That's a real throttle that will provide assist at any time you want it. And it will go up to level five, full throttle's level five. So the throttle um, is variable. So if you twist it more, you get more speed out of it. Now, you always have to be pedaling when you're in any assist mode. If I stop pedaling, there's no assist. I have to pedal. It's got a sensor up there in the next to my foot on that side that detects to see if the, the uh, pedals are moving. So this uh, is not like the Bosch or the Bufang, however you say it. Um, this hub motor was designed to have people uh, move their feet. Um, if you want a trike that will do it all for you and do a really a lot of work for you, probably ought to go spend a lot more money. It's not what I wanted. I wanted to have to pedal. This is about working out and having fun. But I would tell you that I've never rode a Bosch. I've never rode a Buf uh, Bufang. I don't know what the Terratrek EVO is like. Never rode one. Um, 
Mickey at Laid Back Cycles says if you ride a Bosch, you won't buy anything else. That may be true, I don't know. But I didn't want to spend uh, 5,000 plus on a trike right now. Didn't even know if I'd like it. So I got the Terra Trek Charge for about 3,300. And I've been doing fine on it. So let's talk more about e-assist. The battery life is going to be determined on how much power you're putting into this thing. So yes, you have to turn the pedals, but you don't have to put any effort into the pedals as long as you turn them. So you can make this trike do all the work for you as long as you're turning those pedals. If you want battery life to last and get a good workout, put some torque into your legs over here and, and you'll make your battery last longer. I'm pedaling pretty good. I'm in level one and I'm doing 14 miles an hour. So level one would only achieve nine by itself. So that tells you how much extra work I'm doing. So I'll stay in uh, level zero or level level one almost all. I never ride in two, three, four, and five, ever. I've never, I don't find it uh, needed. Um, I'm on level ground, on level ground in E-Assist one, as long as I'm pedaling, this trike will maintain my nine miles an hour. As you go up a grade, if you're not putting any torque effort into it, it may drop off a little bit. It's going to have to struggle to keep it going at that speed. But it's going to try to achieve 9 miles per hour. Um, or I'll go in zero. And even in zero, the throttle still works. So you can throttle from through all the levels to achieve up to 20 miles an hour at level five. The throttle will achieve the highest speed. So on a flat ground, you're gonna get more mileage out of this thing, out of the battery, than you will if you're climbing a lot of hills. But if you're like me, you ride one way, go up and down hills, and you come back, um, the same way that means whatever hills you went up you're going to be going back down so you can average out your lifespan on your battery i'm starting to feel like i'm going to get 40 40 miles plus out of this thing on a full charge riding in hill country like this and uh i'm thinking maybe even past 40 miles to a battery I've never ran one past 50% yet, and I've been riding 20 miles, 22, 23 miles. Um, I typically ride 10 to 11 miles, 12 miles a day now. And um, that's what I do, so. Gosh, I'm hell I hope I'm explaining how this thing works, and I will agree with you trike could probably promote this trike better. I don't know that it's not a big money maker for them or what. Um, the more I research on Pat Garrett, Billy the Kid, Oliver Lee, all these colorful people that revolves around the Santa Fe Ring and the politicians of New Mexico early on. And... Um, all that wild west history it's pretty wild back then uh colorful fellas who knows what happened we weren't here but i can guarantee you there was some some stuff going on but welcome to the wild west this is where it all happened a lot of it um everybody's tied together back in those days uh the Fountain family supposedly killed out there. Well, they were killed out there on White Sands. Uh, Fountain was coming back. He was an attorney. Colonel Fountain was an attorney and he had his little boy with him, his youngest son, in a buckboard on the way back from Lincoln County where he was uh, 
um, dealing with some lawyer stuff uh, uh, concerning Oliver Lee. And on the way back, uh, somebody, uh, well, they never found their bodies. Uh, they did find the buckboard. It was had blood in it. They never found the little boy or Mr. Fountain, Colonel Fountain. And he was from Mesilla. I'm taking you to his place in the Fountain Theater there. Um, Oliver Lee, uh, Frenchie, Pat Garrett, all these folks uh, were all intertwined in that history, the late 1800s in New Mexico. And everybody ended up dead. Maybe Billy the Kid was the only one that made it. Uh, rumors is he went by the alias of Brushy Bill and haunted these parts until the 1940s. Um, who knows? Oliver Lee died in 1941. Uh, maybe Billy the Kid and him are the only two that made it any, any time uh, into the future. But uh, anyway, these are the deserts of New Mexico. I hope you enjoy my content, my little story of history things uh, that I, I study and ride to. Um, I enjoyed today's ride. It was a short ride. It's a, This vantage point is only a couple of miles from where I, I live. Um, anyway, those are the Oregon Mountains. And way down there is El Paso. If you like my content, you like my stories, you like my rides, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel. Me and my tear track charge really enjoy riding with y'all. Beautiful, beautiful ride. Nice little bike trail out here. I could do this every day until I couldn't do it anymore. <laughs> until I dropped dead. It feels so good to get out and ride in the morning and get your blood pumping and get your little legs moving. Get some exercise, see some scenery. Enjoy yourself. Get out and ride. You ain't too old. There's people that are 70, 80, 90 years old. 60, like me, 62. I can't ride a bike anymore. My hip won't let me. I don't like looking at the ground either. My neck won't let me look up. It hurts too much. I got, got old. Getting old. Bones don't. Hurt like these to be bad. I miss reclining, reclining seat. Shit, you can ride this thing all day long.
nice fall morning brisk history a little bit of ride I had a good time Let's see I've done uh, probably about six miles since I left the house no big deal I do six to ten miles a day ten miles a day is pretty good 